Here she comes. No, no rain yet. No. <laughs> Board the Earnslow steamship for about an hour and a half uh, trip around Lake Wakatipu here in Queenstown. Awesome. Coming in hot. Brace yourselves. All right. That is cool. Well, hey. Oh, yeah, it's a view. Oh. Yes. Here we are, right at the pointy end of the boat, guys. This boat's amazing. Huge big steam engine down in the bilges and going hard, and it's hardly making a sound. You know, if that was a combustion engine, it would just be making a hell of a roar. But the steam engine is just going so oh, quiet. Setting in as forecasted. So we are just looking back at Queenstown now. That's where we've come from. Pretty amazing spot here. People have stopped and had lunch here and now they're catching the boat back. Thank you. 
Awesome. Great trip. Time to find a bar. We're up alive. Oh, we're up alive. Here we are at Pog Malone's. Who? Pog Malone's. The Honeys. Yeah, Pog Malone's is the place to be. Mahoney's. Oh, <laughs> Mahoney's. Malone's. Pog Malone's. Yes. I thought I would do this little um, little bit of footage before it's too late. He's like a missing can. Oh, God. Yes. Do you want me to get my girls out? No! 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 Yeah, because you've got Tiana School and probably more. You're a long way from there. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking um, maybe not Tiana. No. But hang on. Hey. <laughs> we were oh my God! You can see my arm, but you can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> hang on. Come on. Did you go into the south? Ah, there we are. We're there. We're there. We got. We got there eventually. We're there. Oh, our crew. I think the. I think the drinks are kicking in. <laughs> Santa has the same issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. See ya. See you guys. See you in a week or so. Oops, I'm going out the inn. Oh uh, well, sadly, that's our time in Queenstown done and dusted. Whew, it is hot. Got all the wet weather gear on, just prepping for the for the rain. And uh, yeah, just start melting until you get on the bike and get that fresh air around your, your girls. So we're not really sure where we're going to end up uh, tonight. Um, we could do the big run all the way home. It's going to depend on the weather really. If it's too rough then we might just uh, decide to stop halfway along the route. We'll just wait and see how it all pans out I guess. Just had a glorious time with my sister and brother-in-law, Gailey and Evan. Queenstown, Dave and Deb came and caught up with us as well and our friend Tan also managed to catch up with us all last night at the Irish bar so we had a good old night so um, another couple of friends of ours are on the road in a camper van and they are currently in Alexandra which is sort of where we're heading today so uh, we're also hoping to catch up with them on the road somewhere along the route today. Well, Remarkables looking majestic as ever. Lake Hayes. Bloody lovely area. Can't beat Central Otago in the autumn. Look at the colour of some of these trees. Bloody magnificent. So we are going to go through the Corral Gorge, through to Cromwell to head home, uh, rather than going up over the um, Crown Range today, like we normally like to do. Uh, just that the weather's obviously a little bit inclement, so um, yeah decided we'll take the shorter route home. Of course going through the gorge is a magnificent ride as well so it's not like we're we're missing out on anything. Yeah obviously not going through the Crown Range you miss out on Cadrona and Wanaka. No we'll still do Lindis Pass so that's all right.
So we're coming up to the uh, bungee jump spot. There it is. I don't know if the camera is high enough to see it or not, but that's where those maniacs jump off that bridge. <laughs> the Gibston Valley is a pretty amazing area, just full of vineyards everywhere. It's a real harsh looking country, you know, just rock. But uh, obviously the, the old grapevines like it. Kawarao Gorge. Alrighty, Cromwell, when do we get in here? Jesus, holy mackerel, the old lake is looking a little bit rough out there today. Woohoo! The wind is just blazing straight down the lake and knocking us about, I've got to say. Woo. Well, we've just had an awesome catch up with uh, Rob and Charlie, good friends of ours. They're touring around the South Island in the camper van, so uh, yeah, it was great to catch up with them in Cromwell. I think they might actually end up spending the evening at Mount Cook by the sounds of things. Yeah, we'll catch up with them again in the weekend back in Christchurch. Wow, look at the camper vans in there. Yippee! People are out and about enjoying this bloody wonderful country of ours. Good on them. I've just realised we should have gone across the bridge. Oh, fuck. the wind. Um, yeah, we're coming the well, not the wrong way, but maybe the long way. It's basically telling us to do a U-turn. Dump off. Slight detour guys, it's going the wrong freaking way. Ha! Well a long way. We would have made it home but we would have had to have gone right back halfway back to Wanaka. Oh it's a lot better with the wind at our backs. Oh guess what? We're coming into Cromwell. Oh good. That's nice. Right oh I think we're going the right way now. <laughs> So, goodbye to Cromwell again. This time. Christchurch, 415 kilometres. So we should be back home in Christchurch in about two hours. Not. Nah, I don't think so, they're just pulling over. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Uh-oh Oh, just not long far over a hundred It was doing 110, put it that way I think they might have done a U-turn and then stopped. 
and then they turned on their radar. <laughs> well guys, this Linda's Pass has got to be one of the roads that you put on your bucket list. It's just bloody glorious. Yeah, obviously the views are spectacular. The corners, look at them, these big sweeping bends. Just bloody lovely. Just a, <laughs> again, another one of the many roads down here in the South Island of uh, New Zealand that are, just seem to have been made for motorcycling. Just, uh, yeah, so fucking enjoyable riding this pass. So yeah, highly recommend it guys. Put it on your bucket list. Linda's Pass. Just be mindful that uh, there is a speed limit and it's uh, policed fairly stringently in this area from, from what I've seen of evidence of uh, law enforcement on the side of the roads. We just had a little bit of an incident where a trucker cop did a U-turn behind us and it looked, looked like he was going to pull us over, which would have surprised me because, to be honest, I was doing uh, probably just a bit over 100 k's when he spotted me and, um, yeah, just around a bend. So, uh, yeah, when he did a U-turn, I thought, Jesus, this is going to be a bit of a hard, hard bloody uh, cop. But uh, they were obviously just doing a U-turn to park up somewhere and sit and catch the next unsuspecting bloody uh, motorcyclist, maybe. want to go back and do it all again. Over the top we go. Alrighty, Omara Ma. normally a good little stop here sort of halfway between everywhere I don't know if we're going to or not do you want to stop here Sal or carry on well we might not be connected hello hello no point stopping here Looks like we're pulling into the high country salmon farm. See if they see if they've got any bargains for us. Wow, I think it's the first time I've ever seen breakers coming in Lake um, Pukaki. Wicked. <laughs> yes. Wow. Look at the waves! The bloody swell! No views of Mount Cook today! As long as the rain stays over it and not over us, it's all bloody good! <laughs> it's hosing down out that way. Man, I can't get over the friggin' swells coming in. Great cookie. Might get a little seasick sitting out there in the bloody tinny cell. so we need to be getting closer to Lake Tekapo guys we've been so lucky with the weather so far Jeez. 
meant to be hosing down all oh, bloody day. The hills to the west of us are just holding it back, holding it at bay. Well guys, there she is, Lake Tekapo. Guess what guys? We're in Feely. And you know what that means? Compulsory stop at the Feely Bakehouse for a Feely pie. <laughs> nom and fucking and nom. Fabulous pie being had at the Feely Bakehouse. Time for the last leg of the trip home. The uh, Google Maps is telling us it should take us about 2 hours and 12 minutes to get home from Philly. So it's just gone 4 o'clock, so yeah, not long after 6 o'clock we should be home. <laughs> ah, fellow biker, I bet. This little gorge or whatever you like to call it between um, Fairley and Geraldine. It's quite a neat little bit of motorcycle riding with all the corners. As long as the road is dry, which it is at the moment, that's bloody nice. coming into Rakaia Gorge. Uh, we decided to take the scenic route home which is uh, a bit longer but um, it was, according to Google Maps it was only going to be two minutes longer which is surprising normally it's maybe sort of like a quarter of an hour longer but um, yeah I think it was something to do with the traffic uh, holiday traffic and that heading back into Christchurch so uh, we figured hey for an extra two minutes and getting away from that holiday traffic we might as well come this way and um, it's a way more interesting ride obviously um, there's, there's still a lot of long boring straights that's for sure but um, you get to come through this beautiful bloody gorge here and you're not fighting off a thousand bloody um, cages Holy hell, a bit of flood water down there. Yeah, so guys, I am uh, might as well call this video quits here. It's starting to get a bit dark now, and I know the GoPro does not like performing in the dark. Hope you enjoyed our trip around the central Otago region. Meeting up with uh, lots of uh, friends of ours, Dave and Deb, Tan, of course, in Queenstown, Gailing and Evan, Queenstown, and uh, Rob and Charlie in Cromwell. So it's been an awesome trip. It's been a bit of a trip of reunions, really, catching up with uh, lots of friends along the way. So that'd be great. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this vid. Don't forget to uh, like, comment share and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one cheers guys